Victoria's police commissioner has resigned after the state ombudsman criticised police for releasing dodgy crime statistics which were used for political gain by the previous state Labor government. There's been pressure on Simon Overland for months and his relationship with the new Bailiw coalition government was increasingly seen as unworkable. The police union, which has led a relentless campaign against Mr Overland's command, says it's time to rebuild the force. Hamish Fitzsimmons reports from Melbourne. In the end, the pressure proved too much for Victoria's police commissioner. I've just uh, reached a position where I believe it's in the best interests of Victoria and Victoria Police for me to leave. Simon Overland's relationship with the coalition government has become increasingly poisonous. What external pressures have influenced your decision to resign now? Well, look, it's been pretty clear that there's been uh, a lot of uh, uh, distractions uh, over the last little while. Uh, it seems to me they are unlikely to abate and uh, it's got to a position where I think my continuing in this role is counterproductive to the best interests of the organisation and to Victoria. The state government denies Simon Overland was pushed. He's doing this. Uh, he's, uh, under, he's taken this step in what he believes is the best interest of the Victorian public and indeed Victoria Police. Mr Overland's tenure since 2009 has been controversial. A series of blunders focused attention on police leadership and sensitive information has been continually leaked. His predecessor says Mr Overland has made the best of the job. I think that he has had an incredibly difficult time for the last two years and uh, I wish him well in his future but I think that it's a tough job being police commissioner. In May, the government ordered an inquiry into the leadership of the force after respected Deputy Commissioner Sir Ken Jones quit following a falling out with Mr Overland. The police union has led the push against Simon Overland, calling for his resignation on an almost weekly basis. What today does do is that it, uh, it opens the door for someone to come in, take stock of where we're at, um, where things have gone wrong, rebuild the organisation. After Sir Ken Jones' resignation, Mr Overland asked the police watchdog, the Office of Police Integrity, to investigate him over leaks to the media. Despite that, the state government says Sir Ken is still welcome to apply for the Commissioner's job. Anybody who wants to apply will be able to do so, and should he do so, then of course uh, any such application would be considered on the merits. One of the most controversial incidents in Simon Overland's short term as Commissioner occurred when statistics were released before last year's state election, which showed violent crimes had fallen under Labor. In his report tabled in State Parliament today, the Ombudsman was critical of the release finding the statistics were misleading and distorted. Crime statistics are still managed and disseminated by Victoria Police, with known inefficiencies and other long-standing concerns. We talked about the content of the report. Uh, he then indicated his intention to resign, and I indicated uh, the government's preparedness to accept that uh, uh, that resignation if it were tendered. Lateline has been told other state police commissioners expressed their concern to Simon Overland last year about the way Victoria Police collects and manages its crime statistics, arguing that in effect they appeared better than they actually were. An example used was a Bureau of Statistics report from 2008 which showed in that year Victoria reported 21,000 assaults while New South Wales reported almost 80,000. It's just unsatisfactory having police being both people who decide what to do to reduce crime and the judges of whether they've succeeded or not. The Independent Bureau of Crime Statistics handles the data in New South Wales and is headed by Dr Don Weatherburn who says independently assessing crime figures takes the politics out of the debate. At the moment what's happening in Victoria is the debate's clouded because people can't reach sens satisfactory agreement on the level of crime or on the trends in crime. So you can't have a sens sensible discussion about how to deal with it. The Ombudsman has recommended the Victoria Police give up managing crime statistics in line with New South Wales, South Australia and Western Australia. And we will be working to put in place an independent body to deal with crime stats in this state similar to what operates in other jurisdictions. Assistant Commissioner Ken Lay will be the Acting Chief Commissioner until a replacement is found. Hamish Fitzsimmons, Late Line.